What's going on guys? Happy holidays. Hope everyone is having a great holiday season. Uh, today, as I mentioned in a previous video, we're going to go ahead and do a gear review of the Viking Cycles backpack here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll into the intro. Today we are doing a gear review of the Viking Cycles backpack here. Um, they sent this out to me to do a little test and review. I tell you guys that I'm going to give an honest review of a product. I won't recommend a product that I don't feel confident in and I'm certainly not just going to do a positive review for the sake of any sort of sponsorship or affiliate deals. I've turned down affiliate deals in the past solely because I don't want to be part of a company that doesn't want me to be able to honestly review their product. So when Rookster had mentioned to me that Viking Cycles was looking for some more people to test their product, I reached out to them and explained to them, hey, I'd like to test out your products, but I'm not going to do it under the guise that I have to give you a five-star review. I wanna honestly review the product, test it out, do some real-world testing, and then if the product's worth a five-star review, I'll give it a five-star review. If it's not, I'll throw some maybe some critiques and some things that I think can improve the product, and then move forward with uh, maybe possibly helping them get it better or just give an honest review to you guys to let you guys know uh, what to expect. I also take into consideration the price of a product. So, you know, a product like something like this, that's just like, I, I believe it's $60, depending on where you're, uh, where you're looking to get it, maybe if it's on sale or whatnot. You can't compare that to a $250 or $300 backpack and give it the same sort of comparison. You have to take into the price into consideration. And to be completely honest, when I started looking at Viking Cycles, I was a little bit concerned. Not be This is before I even received the product, just looking at it online, seeing the price. I was a little bit concerned that maybe it was a cheap Chinese type product. Without being one of my main concerns, I didn't want necessarily know if I wanted to become affiliated with a product such as that. Well, Rookster came to my house, as I mentioned in my last video, brought some of their products out for me to test. And to say the least, I was very impressed with the quality of the gear for the price. So I went ahead and told our Viking Cycles, let's go ahead and test your backpack because I see that the product is at least halfway de decent. It's not gonna waste my time, it's not gonna waste their time. And they went ahead and sent it out to me. I've had this backpack close to a month now and I think that gives it enough time for me to really understand the product, to get to use the product. And I'm not just doing a uh, knee-jerk reaction type review of a product without being able to fully test it. I've seen people do reviews of certain products and see how great it was and then within the first month, the product fails in some sort of way, whether something broke or just doesn't hold up to the test of time. So I wanted to give it some time to really fully test it out. Um, now granted, it's not a year or something with a product, but I think a month is a good time to be able to say that I got a good understanding of the product. So with this backpack, one of the most amazing features, uh, outside of it being relatively cheap, is the number of pockets. So we've got one main compartment, a second sort of main compartment, but slightly smaller. This small little outside storage container, another outside pocket, and then inside the main pocket is another small pocket to contain certain items. So my idea behind getting this backpack, oh, and then also I guess I should mention this too, is there's a packet, pocket in here as well to store some stuff in here as well, right against your back. My main goal of getting this backpack, uh, my main purpose I thought maybe would be a nice little backpack to use while I'm riding. That's kind of their genre is motorcycling. So I thought maybe, hey, I'll get a new backpack to, uh, to be able to test out and ride with. Now I currently have the Mach 5, um, which is a good backpack. It's a $179 backpack designed specifically for motorcycle riding, designed for high speeds, but it's definitely not designed for convenience because the Mach 5 is just one big compartment. It's comfortable, but it's just one big compartment that everything's got to store in. The Viking Cycle Pack is $60, and it comes with, like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six basic compartments to store your stuff in, along with all these extra Molly straps that you could attach certain things to. It's got some extra things in place of, in terms of it's got the chest strap, similar to the Mach 5. This one actually has a waist strap, and it has a strap on the back here that allows you to pull everything tight so it doesn't flex and stuff and move around on you while you're riding. I'm gonna be honest with you, 
after about a week and a half of testing this backpack, I switched my work backpack to this backpack because A, it's super comfortable. I don't know what it is about this backpack that makes it so comfortable, but it just, it feels so comfortable against my back. And I'm not just saying that because they sent it to me. I'm being honest, I switched this to my work backpack. It feels a lot better than the Mach 5. Now the Mach 5 has a little bit more padding on the back, but it just doesn't feel as, as flexible and as comfortable as this backpack feels. This one has a little bit less padding than the Mach 5, but it feels so much better along your back. It has so many straps to keep everything together and all in one cohesive unit, where my Mach 5, when I'm riding, and stuff moves, it all moves as one pack, but it doesn't feel firm and set on my back like this does. Another thing, this is a third of the price of the Mach 5. Again, convenience of having 18 different pockets, and I exaggerate 18, I will say, what we'll just say seven or eight pockets is awesome, like I said, because I have a lot of different wires and cables and everything that I store in here. It's nice to know where everything is at a, at a quick grab and you're not fighting to look in one big compartment for all your different wires and stuff. You can really divide everything out. Another great thing, like I said, it's got this strap here, which is A, a security strap, so people can't just get into your backpack and take whatever they want. Let's just say it's a laptop or whatever. And it also keeps everything together and compact and nice in one firm unit. It's got these side pouches for adjustability, for stretching it and, and keeping everything nice and tight. It also has the pouches over here. Like I said, it's got the waist strap and the shoulder strap to keep everything together as one cohesive unit and it's got the eight different pouches in here as well. Is the backpack perfect? No, it's got some flaws, some things that I think they can improve on. One of the main things that I really think it could improve on is, and I'll show you here guys, is the main pocket is just one big pouch and here's my work laptop, but it's, there, there is no like laptop protector in here. So it, you know, that's one of the downsides I did mention to this to the company and say, hey, I think a better one feature you guys need to add if you guys make a second version of this backpack is to add a laptop protector. And that would be so people can, you know, that's kind of the purpose of most people carry their backpacks is to store a laptop in there or iPad or some sort of big electronic device. It would be nice to know that there's some sort of padding and protection in there. Um, I mean, there is some padding on the, in between the, each pocket, but a laptop protector in general would, I think, just kind of help out and uh, just be a good added addition to the backpack. And I'll show you, I've got a laptop in the main pocket. Here I've got, for my work, this is an electrical meter. This is a label maker. So I could store that in a separate pocket so I know exactly where that is all the time. And again, normally I would have that with a whole bunch of different wires, but because this backpack has so many different pockets, I don't have to do that. And this one, I've got some miscellaneous tools and markers and screwdrivers and some stuff for work. Then I go to my main pocket here, or not my main pocket, the main outside pocket here. And this is where I got my wires and things like that, some adapters and stuff. It just, it's so convenient for me to be able to just store everything in its own location. So when I need something, I know exactly which pocket to go to. Or in the event that someone's like, hey, I need to get this from you. I could say, hey, it's in my backpack. Look at the far outside pocket. It should be right in there. And it's not confusing. It's not like they have to open up one main compartment and go through 18 different wires to find which, which thing they need or to search the bottom of a backpack for a mouse, for example, and try to scramble through and try to find this in a jigsaw puzzle. Overall, I must say this backpack is fantastic. For $60, I really don't think there's much better. As far as longevity, I really can't tell you. No issues outside or no issues on this backpack so far and I've taken this into construction sites. I've taken this a lot around everywhere. I throw it in my car, it sits there all the time. Obviously, you know, there are some things that, that can improve like this Viking cycles on the outside is starting to fall off. Um, you know, that may be something that, uh, that, that I think they can improve. Um, they've got a replaceable little thing here for the American flag. I mean, I don't know, that's, neither here nor there, it's you know your kind of personal preference if you want it or not, just easy to pull right off or you can put whatever you want on there. But overall for $60 guys, I highly, highly recommend this backpack. But anyway guys, let's go ahead and wrap this review video up. Links in the description to the Viking Cycle store, link in the description for a direct link to this specific backpack. If you guys have the backpack, let me know what you guys think of it. And lastly, Rookser is doing a giveaway. Link is in the description to his video. He's doing a Viking Cycles reflective vest. I've tested it out, it is super good. I'm actually gonna pick one up, I think, and wear it when I'm on the track, just to give myself a little bit more visibility. I know that's kind of strange to say, but I just like it that much. It's got a ton of pockets, it's highly reflective, super cheap, and it's just something that you could do to help yourself be more visible out on the streets, out on the track, whatever the case may be, so that maybe you have a better chance of being seen. But again, link will be in the description to that. Go over to his channel, view the video, 
He'll tell you all the deets. He also smashes a guitar in the video, so rest in peace to the guitar. But let him know that I sent you over to his video. Let him know that uh, you guys entered through me. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting me as always. I hope you guys are having a happy holiday. Happy good 2019. Next year is going to be a huge year for most of us. I can feel it. I just know you guys are going to kill it next year. I'm going to try to kill it next year, and I know you guys will too. Thanks again for watching the video. Guys, stay safe out there if you're riding. Keep that rubber side down. Don't forget to enjoy the moment. Get yourself a Viking Cycles backpack. And until the next video, we'll catch you guys later. Bye.